a bet. If you can get the coolest girl in school to go to prom with you, I'll take a gender studies class that will teach me that women are commodities and challenges based on archaic standards of masculinity. You're on, man! Binge Pipe is not getting any younger, so we might as well bring back You Don't Know Jack. Binge Pipe, for funsies. Hi there, I'm Cookie Masterson. I'm famous for hosting this game and for getting beaten up by a baby chimpanzee in an Ikea parking lot. Eight players, yeah. I've definitely been to a party with eight people before, but why are you even asking? I mean, come on. And so it begins. To get things started, I paid the copay, but I didn't like it. Did you know there's a dermatologist on Instagram at Dr. Pimple Popper with over 2 million followers? Her videos are completely disgusting, and I know because I've watched every single one. If my hematologist joined Instagram, what would be a suitable username? At I Love Spectacles, at I'm the Blood Guy, at Leaky Bladder is the Matter, or at Dr. Elderly Care. So who got it? No, that's my urologist. Nobody follows him. <coughs> Hematologists diagnose and treat blood disorders. A hematologist spends their whole career thinking about blood. I spend one summer and suddenly I've got vampire vibes? Come on. Hallelujah, hallelujah. It's time for Thanks Grieving. What would someone with syngenesophobia most likely say at Thanksgiving? Ah, turkey! Ah, hi! Ah, cranberries! Or, ah, my parents! I love this part. Ah, no! No, this is what you scream when you see the Cranberries sing Salvation at the MTV Music Awards in 1996. <coughs> the fear of turkeys is mainly grisphobia, which is not what I asked about. Come on! <coughs> Syngenesophobia is the fear of relatives. Whoa. Some people are gluten intolerant, others are grandpa intolerant. Why do we do it with cream? Take a good look at Call Brie by Your Name. And yes, it is time for a dis or dat. I'm gonna list off seven things, and for each, I want you to tell me if it's something true about actor Timothy Chalamet, something true about the cheese camembert, or both. Think fast, you'll only get a few seconds to pick between Timothy Chalamet, camembert, or both. And you're all doing this together, so pay attention. Ready? Good. Born in France. Appears in Ladybird. Has white skin. Content is 45%. Created by a woman. Smooth and supple. That was mostly unimpressive. Okay, let's move along. I don't need you anymore. 
This one's called, What If They Read Game of Thrones in Game of Thrones? What Ian McEwan novel would Cersei Lannister and her brother Jamie most identify with and enjoy as part of their winter book club? Amsterdam, The Children Act, The Cement Garden, or Atonement? And how do we do? Well, now you have a wrong to atone for. Ian McEwan's The Cement Garden is about a brother and sister who fall in love, so that would really speak to Cersei and Jamie Lannister. Spoiler warning, The Cement Garden would be a great nickname for Jorah Mormont. Introducing, remember in sync? Now go even further back. Which Justin Timberlake album would Henry David Thoreau likely relate to the most? Justified, Man of the Woods, Future Sex, Love Sounds, or the 2020 Experience? Okay, let's take a look. The author of Walden, a book about his two years living in the woods by Walden Pond, Henry David Thoreau would definitely shake his little booty to Man of the Woods. And then he'd make sweet love to that pond. Round one is dead to me. Let's look at the scores I'll be sending to your parents. Currently, player one is in the lead. Speaking of the exact opposite of that, these players are negatively affecting our averages. Sounds like it's screw time. <laughs> That's correct, binge pipe employee Cookie Masterson. Use the screw to make answering a question harder for all the other players. The results may surprise you, and you'll receive a monetary bonus for anyone who answers incorrectly. Yeah, okay, they get it. The rest of you better answer fast before you get screwed. Oh, and by the way, all the cash in round two is doubled. In case you care about things like that. You can take that to the bank. Six trombones is not a parade. Oh, here's a good one. How did my dad get my email address? According to Godwin's Law, the giant unending group email chain from my entire family will eventually result in which message? Mom, there is no God. Dad, stop acting like Hitler. So here it comes. Player three decided to screw. Embrace the change, or don't. Let's see how that shook out. Ah, uh, yeah, just ignore Grandpa. <coughs> Godwin's Law posits that any online discussion, if it goes on long enough, will eventually result in someone comparing someone else to Hitler. And I'm not just talking about Grandma's mustache. Nice use of the screw, Player 3. Here's your extra cash. Last pair's Chimoco de moi. Set. Next up, Octopus Coffee, Queen Elizabeth, or Frankenstein? Octopus Coffee, Queen Elizabeth, or Frankenstein? The Doctor that is. What's the tag? Banned from Sweden for 30 years. Octopus Coffee, Queen Elizabeth, or Frankenstein? Let's see who got it. The bad news is your answer. The Swedish king, Gustav III, hated coffee and had it banned from his country in the 18th century. Twas then I learned to heed the winds of it. There is no hiding from formation according to perspiration. And uh-oh, chest strut fits lime floor. It's time for a... Think fast on this one. The longer you take, the less cash you make. Okay, focus up. Check out this gibberish phrase and guess what real life piece of advice it rhymes with. Won't sweat Brad? Sweat Steven and pay no attention to that punctuation. Don't freak out.
just calmly enact revenge. Stop being angry, be leveled. I think we were all thinking it. Now let's keep going. This one's known as Booty Pebbles. Hey, what's in your butt? The occipital muscle, the pure... What's this? Player four just used that screw. Oh, don't crane your neck. Okay, who chose what? I hope it's not your birthday. <laughs> the piriformis muscle is located deep in the buttocks. How deep? About as deep as that Admiral Akbar action figure you accidentally sat on in middle school. That screw was a good move, Player Four. This is your cash now. Behold, go Big Sean or go home Sean. Which of the following Big Sean lyrics demonstrates the rhetorical device Epizuxis? Okay, drop it to the floor, make that ass shake, shake, shake. Built a house up on that ass, that's an ass state. Whoa, make that group move, that's an ass quake. Or ass ass. Hope you like what you picked. Maybe try cheating? Epizuxis is the immediate repetition of a word for emphasis. Or in this case, emphasis. Welcome to the attack. When you see an answer that matches the category, tap it on your device. The faster you pick a right answer, the more cash you make. And more than one answer can be right. But each time you're wrong, I'm taking some cash away. And be careful. It's gotta be a match that fits this clue. Warning, this film contains... Sometimes the regular movie warnings aren't enough. Good luck.
player one takes it. Well done, player one. There are no small victories, except this one. You barely won. I guess what I'm saying is... You don't know Jack! Enjoy this exclusive behind-the-scenes content from You Don't Know Jack. Hi, I'm Rose. I'm an audio segment producer on the game. One thing that a lot of people don't know is that Cookie records all of the ors in his questions separately. So like, for a question like this... Is it bonk, 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 wobble, 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 awooga, or ooh, mommy? Cookie prefers to record all of the ors for the whole game in one six hour recording session. Here, take a listen. All right, now recording ORS 425 through 500. <clears throat> or, 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 no, or, yeah, or. I don't know why he insists on doing it that way. It's a lot of extra work. Thank you for joining us for this Binge Pipe bonus content.